brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So I'm not like an avid watcher of the uh, Ramsey show, but I see a lot of clips online where you guys talk about mutual funds and investing in mutual funds. I was wondering, why do you recommend mutual funds over index funds? Great question, man. How old are you? 21. Lovely. And are you investing right now? Yeah, I've been investing since I was 15. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that's amazing. Who taught you that? Um, My dad taught me a little bit, and I read about it. Nice. Dude, that's w awesome. What have you been investing in for the past six years? Um, So I, I was doing, like... Um, mostly, mostly index funds, but, um, I like to play around, do some stock picks, but you know, obviously not a lot of, not a big portion of my, uh, portfolio goes towards that. Okay. Are you working full time? Uh, yeah, I'm in marketing. Nice. That's amazing. Okay. And how much are you investing as a percentage of your gross household income? Uh, probably like 25, 30%. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're going to be a multimillionaire regardless of this conversation that happens next. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Okay. Where, where do you live, Matt? Um, right outside of Charlotte. No, no, no. Like, do you have your own your own house, your own apartment? You living with mom? Where are you living? No, I still live with with, um, with my mom at home. Okay. All right. Cool. How much do you make a year? Yeah. Um, eighty to ninety. Oh my goodness, dude! You're crushing it. So you're we're talking you're investing like eighteen thousand a year. Yeah. And you've got a four hundred one k through your employer. No, I use a Roth IRA. Okay. So what happens after you max that out? I just put in a regular brokerage. Okay. Great. So let's talk about index funds versus mutual funds. And for the for the listener's sake, if they're like, what are these goober nerds talking about? Index funds are basically passively managed mutual funds. So still a giant group of stocks, but it's tracking an index, basically a set list of companies. Whereas the mutual funds that are actively managed has an investment manager that is selecting the funds that make the list. Can you get let's go even simpler for guys like me. When you say indexed, they're indexed and they're passively managed. So index, there's no one running the show. It's just a set list. And of, so they here's the, pick, I'm making these the up, they pick. The S&P 500. There's okay. 500 companies, the largest U.S. companies. And if they go up, it. then the index fund goes up. And if they just all go down, then the index fund kind of goes down. And over time, we hope these companies just keep getting bigger and growing. And then can companies fall off the S&P 500 and yes. new ones pop in? Yes. So the whole thing should be just going up over time. Exactly. And so index funds means nobody's driving. It's just following whatever. It's those... the autonomous vehicle of the investing world. Ooh, you you just, like that? You just ruined it John, for like, I know. There that we go. Excellent. Okay. okay. So that's, is that a good that. summary, that's Matt? Because you know about this stuff as, just as much as we do. Yeah. And, okay. Um, I mean, one thing that's sort of, um, sort of important to like note is that mutual funds sort of have built-in fees, right? You know what I mean? Correct. Like there, there's built-in fees. There's an investment um, manager. There's people to pay because this is their job yeah, to, exactly. to run these. Exactly. Yeah. So they do have fees. The perks of the index funds, as you know, diversification, which mutual funds have, low expense ratios, which index funds have, and predictability. And, you know, every investing right. rose has its thorn. For, for starters, your index funds won't beat the market because it represents the market. Does that make sense? So you, right. you'll settle yeah, for the yeah, average of the market. The you can never beat it. The goal of the mutual fund is that that investment manager is picking, is hand-selecting funds based on tons and tons of research that they're doing every day, day in and day out, in order to attempt to beat it. So let's say the market does 10%. Well, the goal of the mutual fund is to do 12% or 14%. Now, right, but, as we know, they um, won't hit that goal every year. We don't have a crystal ball. We can agree on that? Do you, do you, have, do you, do you look for specifics in a mutual fund? To, to try to to try to hit those funds because I know eighty percent of mutual funds don't beat the market. No, that's actually factually incorrect. Morningstar did this article and they said nearly fifty seven percent of mutual funds, these active U.S. equity funds, they beat the average index fund peer over the twelve months through June twenty twenty three. So that means six out of well, ten wait, mutual funds beat the index. Uh, wait, over how long? Over a twelve month period. Year. They looked at, here's the mutual funds did, here's what the, the peer index fund did. Six out of 10 beat the index fund. Right, but why are you looking at a 12-month period versus, like, you know, decades? 
you can look at decades and it's going to change depending on the decade you look at. And the, the truth is there's going to be mutual funds that don't beat the index. And there's going to be years the index beats the mutual funds. And so the goal here is to slightly beat the copycat of the stock market, which is the index fund. And so the index funds also do have a fee. You'll see it listed as a 12B1 fee. And so that kind of makes up for, for the fact that the um, mutual fund fees there. So it's not exactly free. And here's the thing. We're not anti-index funds. There's a time and place. In fact, Dave Ramsey invests in index funds outside of retirement. You have that taxable brokerage account, right? Yeah. Dave would say index funds are the smart play there because of the low turnover. They're not moving things around as much, which makes the fees less. But in retirement, you're not having to pay those fees because you're not worried about turnover because this is a long-term play. And therefore, he invests in mutual funds for his retirement accounts, index funds outside of retirement. So there's a time and place for both. What? What do you look for in a mutual fund, though? Well, there's a lot of like, pieces of it, uh, including you know, rate of return, the expense ratio, what the fund is made up of, who the fund manager is, have they switched the investment team recently? You know, If it's been doing great for 30 years and all of a sudden they switch the crew, well, that's something you want to look out for because things might change. And we actually covered right. this in depth, Matt, in our Investing Essentials live stream. And I, it's not currently available, but just for you, I'm going to send you a link to watch that for free. How's that sound? Good. But um, isn't that sort of um, inevitable? I mean, if if a mutual fund has a 30-year history with one manager and I'm 21 and I want to invest for another 30 years, you know, isn't there pretty much a guarantee that um, the fund manager is going to change, the fund management team? Sure, over time, you know, things may change, but what you're looking for is that longer term track record. And so we're not going to choose a fund that's been around for a year. We prefer the one that has no, a track right. record of 10 or 15 that's had the same team with the same record of success. But, but dude, that's like saying, I don't want to root for the Yankees or the Astros because they're going to have different players in a few years. The, ho the goal is you hope that they have guiding principles and they have the same desire to win and they have the same integrity over time. Some teams are better at integrity than others with the teams I just I just labeled. I know Kelly's looking at me, not the Kelly's answers. upset. But you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the fund manager is going to roll over, but it will change over time. Matt, here's the deal. We can argue all day and I can tell you like this, but you can be a multimillionaire just from your index funds. You don't have to ever touch a mutual fund if you don't want or are going to still be friends you're doing great. The key is your savings rate. That's the key. That's what's holding people back from having money. It's not the discussion of index versus mutual. That's for another time. But for everyone else listening, just freaking invest. Be like Matt. At 21 years old, invest 18 grand a year. You're going to have money in retirement, regardless of where you put it. And for what it's worth, George and I both put our money in mutual funds. So. Call me a dummy. And me too. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.